Darmi is the chef and part owner of Betisab. She's gonna teach me how to make the royal dish from the Guragi people, kitfo. To make kitfo, we need really nice, clean beef. So we have these beautiful pieces that you cleaned. What does the word kitfo mean? I think anything you chopped it, small pieces. Yeah, so anything, so anything chopped. Anything is chopped, they call it kitfo. Kitfo is like, you know, very special for us. It's like mm. a Japanese sushi, you know. Poor or rich, everyone eats kitfo. Darmi is an amazing cook. She walks me through the process of chopping up the meat really, really fine. You add spices such as bishop seeds, black cardamom, cumin, fenugreek. And then you want to toast them up, because that's sort of how the spices opens up, and that's how you get the most flavor out of the spices. Okay. Wow. Woo! That smells so good. Can I pour it in here? Yeah, sure. Kebe, which is this clarified butter, is a staple in Ethiopian food. It's a flavor enhancer, but it's also a preserving technique. It's literally a butter that you simmer, and you take all the milk product out, and then at the same time, you're adding in all the spices. Hmm. That's beautiful. Let me show you something. Mm -hmm. yeah. This smells very similar to oregano, but it has a little bit more grassier feel than oregano. Yes. Nice. Kebe, which is used very carefully in Ethiopian cooking, is one of the reasons why you get almost that umami taste in Ethiopian food. A great kebe can be up to six months to a year old. It will never go bad unless you put your fingers into it. Just a little dollop of this, half a teaspoon or so, will change the entire flavor of a dish. And then it becomes this beautiful gold color of yes. kebe. This yeah. is gold. Now comes the blending of the kitfo, right? Yes, yes. Add in this labor of love to infuse our kitfo. Kitfo, yes. I get the first take. Mm. Oh, wow. Good, right? This is amazing. It's so rich. Uh, normally, they always and beat their wife first. Listen, I'm, I'm on a culture trip. I need to learn. <laughs> ah, this is so mm. beautiful. It's a real deal, Marcus. But I think I found the kitful goddess now. Yeah, she's good. Mm. I get it too. To eat this you after like you've been fasting, when you haven't had meat for a long time, celebrating with rich butter or celebrating with a meat becomes super important. Well, thank you so much thank you for so teaching much. us. Thank you for coming. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I feel like it's a cheap ticket to Ethiopia right here. Really, it feels so home and I'm so... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have you guys here.